welcome back to Dream It Do It. It's day 22 and today it's another workshop day. It's time to review how we've been getting on with week two of our 12 week year and also to plan the next week ahead, week three. Let's get on with it. So at the end of week two of our 12 week year, that puts us at about a sixth of a way through our year or about 17% of the way through. How are you doing? How do you feel that you're getting on with the goals that you set for yourself at the start of this 12 week period? Hopefully you've been following along with your weekly planning and then each day looking at your weekly plan, what are the things you've highlighted, writing out for a day, okay, here's the goal that I'm focusing on and here is up to three actions that I'm going to take to move me forward towards achieving that goal. Like we did last week, I want you to have a look at your week two plan and we're going to score it and see how we did. Have a look at the actions that you highlighted on your week two plan and for each one give it a score from 0 to 10, 10 being you did it, it's done, 0 being you didn't even make a start on the action or grade it somewhere in the middle. Do that for each of the highlighted actions and then calculate the percentage of how well you did for week two and then go through the same process for the goals that you wrote down that you were going to focus on for week two. So did you tick off any of the goals? How many of the actions did you fully complete? I would like you to take a few moments now to write down what processes are working for you. So what things are you doing on a weekly basis that are really moving you forwards? And what areas are not working so well for you? What are the things that you really should have done or needed to do, but didn't get done, or you had hurdles that you couldn't quite get over? Just take five minutes, pause me, and write down what you feel the week has gone like. Okay, now that you've done that, let's commit to a few things that we can change or do differently in this next week to help us get going, to help us unblock ourselves and move forwards with those things that have been sticking points for you that have meant that you haven't been progressing to the level that you want. So take a quiet moment, look at what you've written down that's working and what isn't working and pull out one or maybe a few things that you can do this week to improve. Next up, I'd like you to have a think about if there are any areas that you could do with some help or support with. Of course, don't forget what we were talking about yesterday, how important it is to get support in whatever endeavour you're doing. So have a look at your week and have a think about, is there anyone I could have done with asking a question to or getting some help from or could I have delegated something to somebody? Try and write down if you get any ideas for support or help that would have helped you in the past week and what you're going to do in this next week to get help that you need. Okay, so no matter where you've got to at the end of week two, whether you're firing ahead or you feel like you're kind of behind on where you want to be, hopefully this process of reviewing where you're at can allow you to draw a line in the sand and set a fresh start as we move into week three. The important thing above anything else in this 12 week year is that no matter what, we don't give up and we keep going and we keep adjusting and trying different things till we find processes that give us momentum and a method that works for us. So next up, we need to plan the week ahead. I'm going to say to you exactly the same as I said on the last two weeks. You're going to take a fresh page in your notebook and plan out your week. Have a look at your 12 week goals. Hopefully some of those are starting to either be ticked off as done or are part way through. But pick the goals that you feel for this next week should be your top priority that you can focus on. No more than three goals to focus on this week. But if you want to pick less, then that's great because the more you can focus in on something, the better you're likely to make progress on it. So pick your goals, write them down 
And then the next step, as you know, is to brainstorm actions that you can do this next week to move you forwards for those goals. Once you've done that, get your highlighter pen and highlight the actions that you think you can knock off this week and get done. And that is your week three planning done, ready to start the fresh week. And as I said before, don't forget every day, it's really important at the start of your day, take five to 10 minutes to plan out your day so that you're organized and focused and you know what you're doing. You just look at your weekly plan and pick up to three actions that you're gonna work on in any given day. And this is how we keep momentum and just get into a lovely routine, a lovely habit of attacking our goals every day so that we're always moving forwards to the end point and to pursuing and realizing our dreams. I hope today's review and planning workshop has been useful for you. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like. As always, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be back tomorrow for the next day of Dream It, Do It. And until then, I know you can do this. Keep dreaming big. Mm -hmm.